Well, the Poway School Board has fired its leader. Board members voted last night to get rid of John Collins, and now a newly released audit shows he owes taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. And 10 News reporter Candace Crone is live with the questionable purchases that Collins is accused of making. Candace? Well, the gates here at Painted Rock Elementary School are locked. As you can see on the marquee, students are out for summer break. And while they are on vacation, Poway School Board was busy voting out John Collins. The superintendent of Poway Schools is out of a job. The board voted Sunday night to oust John Collins, and now an audit reveals troubling findings. The report found more than $320,000 in overpayments and unauthorized payments. A big chunk of the overpayments were in vacation payouts. The audit also shows an additional $24,000 in other transactions that violated the district's policy. This page of the report shows the questionable purchases, which include a number of Southwest Airlines transactions, several dinners, and hotel fees. I don't know how you can take this much from a public school district and from the taxpayers and not be brought up on criminal charges. If that does not happen, there's a serious failure. Kim Garnier and her husband Chris have been outspoken about Collins' removal for months. The board placed Collins on paid administrative leave back in April after concerns were raised about his contract. Chris Garnier believes it will take some time and hard work for public trust in the district to be restored. Every strong organization needs even a stronger leader, and I think it's now incumbent upon the board to figure out the best person to lead this amazing school district. I did check with the district, and so far the case has not been turned over to the DA's office. Now, John Collins' attorney says that the audit has legal and factual errors, and that Collins maintains that he upheld his duties as superintendent and denies engaging in conduct that was dishonest. We're live in Poway, Candace Crone, 10 News. Thanks, Candace.